So when it comes to this logic, okay, first we need to make sure that you remember what does it mean. Okay, can you recognize this shape? Okay, this true or false? It is the Boolean. Remember Boolean. And then now, how can you determine? How can you determine whether that's true or false? We go to logic, and then you will find out there will be some shape like this. Okay, so for example, if we would like to check whether something is true or not, okay, like for example, uh, maybe we just use this one. One is greater than, okay, it's greater than zero. Then we know this is true, okay. So maybe we want to check it, okay. So we want to show something, and this is show the string, okay, true, and then what if this is not correct? Then we just add one more button here. So this time, we just choose it to be false. Okay, so this is how we can make use of how we can make use of the boolean, and then now. For this one, maybe we change it to be uh, one is less than zero, then this statement will be not correct. So you will see on the left hand side, the simulation gives you false. So if this is true, then the first line will be so. If this is not true, that means false, then we will show what is here for else. And what if we would like to have one more condition to check? Okay, then we just use this at sign. So this one will suddenly or will automatically become another Boolean condition. And then you can just erase this else so that you got this second condition. It's okay. So this is how we build up a conditional statement.